Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little stockings. I use them for gift card holders where you can hang them on the tree as decorations. You can hang them from the mantle. I think they're just cute for tiny little presents. If you have a secret Santa you could put a little present in it and leave it on their desk. Just cute. So I have several of them right here. My pattern is really, really easy. So let's get started. There's several ways that you can do this. For example, this one, if you wanted to have the toe and the heel be different colors, I'll do a shout out when it's time for that. Otherwise, this one is just continues being all the same yarn. This one is all the same yarn. And this one, I didn't do the toe, I did the heel, and then I did the top. So you really can just mix and match this anytime you want, any way you want any yarn you want. So I'm just using the hook that is called for with the yarn. So I have a five millimeter hook. I don't remember what this yarn is called. I have it all spooled up with my yarn winder, but it came in, it was huge. It was huge. It was like a one a pound of love kind of thing. I don't remember what it is, but it looks like a candy cane. Looks like a candy cane. So I wanted to use this one today to make this cute little stocking. So let's get started. It's really simple. Start out with a magic circle. If you're not familiar with a magic circle, you can see a different tutorial that I have on YouTube to show you how to do that. Otherwise you can just do the chain two and slip stitch into the first into the first chain and then you have an itty bitty little loop and you work through the center of those. So right here I have my magic circle and within this I am going to do one single crochet and I always mark my stitches. Everybody knows that. I also have a clicker because I want to keep track of my rounds since I'm going to be talking. Ha ha ha. Alright so there's one but inside this magic circle I want to do eight single crochets. So there's the very first one. There's two three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you can see also with these four that I made here, they change in size a little bit. It depends on the yarn and the hook that you're using. So if you want a little tiny one, you can use a smaller hook. If you have fat yarn, you're going to end up having a bigger stocking because you need a bigger hook. But I'm using a five, so it should come out right about here in this middle size. Because I believe I used a six on this one and a six on this one, just because I wanted to have some various sizes. All right, so there's our eight single crochets in our magic circle. You can tighten it up just a little bit. I don't like to make it fully tight until I get a couple of rounds in just so it doesn't make all of these stitches in here too tight. Alright, so this is the first round. So there's eight single crochets in my magic circle. Now for round two we're going to do an increase which is I'm going to do a single crochet and move the stitch marker. And the way you increase when you're doing in the round is you do two single crochets in each stitch from the first round. So we're e increasing from 8 to 16. So there is number 1 and there's number 2 goes in that same stitch. And then over here there's 2. number seven and there's number eight of our first round so that's number sixteen oh, your little ring so there you go round two is done already so that's easy now we're going to increase on round three one more time 
And the way you do the third round of an increase when you're working in the round like this on a circle is single crochet in that first stitch and of course I always replace my stitch marker. And one more single crochet into that same stitch. So here we have two. And in the next stitch it just gets a single crochet. So you repeat that all the way around. There's two singles here and then one single in the next stitch. And there's my last two stitches. There's two single crochets in this stitch. And one single crochet in that last stitch. That was round three. We did another increase. So now is about the time that I think, okay, I can tighten this all the way. I'm happy. So you just take this long tail from the beginning and you pull on it nice and tight and it closes up the circle. That is awesome. Round four is super easy. All you need to do is single crochet all the way around, which would be 24. That last round we increased from 16 to 24. So now we're just going to do all the way around of 24. And I'll meet you back at my stitch marker. Just single crochets all the way around. Meet you at the stitch marker in just a moment. There's my last stitch of round four. Uh oh, I forgot to click. That's round four. I'm going to want to keep track of these rounds for sure. All right, so now if you were to choosing to make a little stocking like this where you wanted the toe to be different, now would be time to change colors. I'm going to make this one all the way through, but now I, this is the first four rows. There's the round starting right here is where we started is at the toe. So the brown here is the first four rows. So now we're going to move on to round five. Since we're not changing colors, we can just keep right on going. Again, it's a single crochet all the way around. So again, 24 single crochets. And I'll meet you at the stitch marker. My last two stitches of round five. Now I remember to click, click, I'm on round five. You can see it's starting to starting to curl up. We'll just push it this way because this is the wrong side. You can kind of tell where the tail is. Probably on most people the tail side is going to end up being on the wrong side. So it's a little fuzzy. Just doesn't look quite as nice as this side. So you just push everything like that because this will be the outside part that shows of the toe. So we're on round five. Now round six through 13 will all be, this was round 5 right here, this is rounds 5 through 13 right here. Those are all a single crochet around 24. So I'll meet you back here in a minute.
two stitches in round 13. Click. There go. There's our little toe. And it's funny, I couldn't have planned that any better. The way that this variegated yarn worked, it looks like I did a toe on purpose. So that's really fun. And then there's a big white stripe here. This is cute. I like how this is working out. I did not plan that, but I sure did get lucky. Now with round 14, we're going to start working on the heel. So that's little this part right here. So if you wanted to change colors, right now would be the time to do so. If you did that, you just drop this yarn and start anew in this stitch right here. Just drop this yarn and wait its turn for next time. So I'm just going to keep right on going. So for round 14, I'm just going to single crochet 12. Instead of 24, we're going to do 12. Just going to go halfway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. See, we only went halfway around from this stitch marker to my hook. So click. Round 14. Round 15 through 19 are exactly the same. This we're going to chain one and turn our work and do 12. So this is round 15. Only single, cro single crochet these 12. My last three stitches on row 19. And this is stitch number 12. I'll tuck that in. There we go. Looks like this. All right, so there's the end of round 19, which makes our heel. Like that. The tricky way that I do this, we don't want the seam to show right here. We don't want that to show. So what we do is take this and fold it to the outside. You're going to want to work with it this way. So again, I have, let's see if I can get ready here. Okay, we have it like this. Fold it right sides together. This is actually the wrong side that's showing the right sides together. And along the top right here, we're going to want to single crochet those together or a slip stitch. Either way, because they're not going to show. So whichever one you wish to use. I'm just going to single crochet. One. Make sure you go through both sides. Through this stitch and through that stitch. All the way across. And this last one ends up being just like that. I got a snag. There we go. There's the last one. Boom. And at this point, I'll just finish this off. that's not going to show. I'm going to tuck this back in. There's the stitches that we just did to close up the heel. The wrong side was showing, the right side is tucked in, so we're going to untuck that right side. And now it's magically a heel. Just gonna tuck that in. 
Now if you were changing colors again right now, obviously you are done with this brown. So now you'd pick up your yarn that was from over here from the previous color, but I am just using this color right now. So we're going to go in We start on this side right here. I'm going to reattach my yarn and we're just going to single crochet all around the top of the toe. See, oh, I forgot to mark that. I'll want that in a second. Mark that. I had already stitched three. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 12 around the front right here and now we want 12 around the back even though these are the wrong edges we're just going to make six work on this side of the seam and six on this side of the seam so for another 12 so we'll end up with a total of 24 so see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and put six up this side to the seam. Just evenly space them out. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you want six down this side meeting back up here. So however you wish to do it. One, three, there's four, five, and six. Map back up with their stitch marker right here. So now we are going to start working this direction. Very simple. Very simple. All right, so we're going to take out our stitch marker. Go right into that stitch. Now we get to start working the top of the stocking. We are more than halfway done. That was row 20. There's only 34 rounds in the whole thing. Um, all the way up to round 33 is just 24 single crochets all the way around. So this was round 20, starting round 21 single crochet all the way around. All right, so that was row 21. Very simple. All the way around. This is row 22 is starting. I will meet you back after we do 24 single crochets all the way around and you are done with round 33. So I'll see you back at my stitch marker at the end of round 33. So there's the end of round 33. We have a stocking. There's only one thing left to do. Just have to make sure that you're at the back. If you're not at the back, because you could have been over here when you did the heel, so you might be somewhere over in here. As long as you're at the back, the top back, chain 15. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And that's his little hanger. That makes the little hanger. So we can finish this off any way you wish to finish it off. It will work just fine. 
there you have it. Any way you wish to finish that off. I'm just going to tuck that in there for right now. I'm not going to weave in my end. Isn't that cute? So again, I have all of these options here. All made with the same pattern. Just depends on the hook and the yarn that you use. Use the corresponding hook. Use the hook that goes with the yarn on the yarn band or whatever you think looks right if you happen to have one like I do that I don't have the band. But that looked right. And this is so cute. Again, they all have hangers. You can put them on the tree. You can hang them from the mantle. You can hang them from your cubicle wall. You can hang them from a doorknob. They're just cute and fun. They, they crochet up really, really fast. I love these little guys. Thank you for stopping by. Again, I'm Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for supporting my small business. Please stop by again and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye.